over the years, we've developed this sense of trust. I stay where I am and I try to keep a very respectful distance. And if they want to play, they come to me. I hop off the lava rocks and I just go for a swim. I'd be marveling at shells on the bottom of the ocean. And then suddenly I would just hear perfectly. And they come along in the middle of absolutely nowhere. And Here they are like, let's play, give me that leaf. They take up a leaf with their flipper and then flick it back to you. I catch with your mom and dad in a field. My version of that was in the ocean that just so happened to be with wild spinner dolphin. Flicks it from one flipper to his nose and then to the next flipper and then they go back to the tail. They're just so smart. And I think that's what's wild. As a little kid, it just seemed totally normal to me that I would just be out there with them. They became my ohana, my family. I literally grew up with this pod. I grew up very remote here in the islands. I didn't really have friends. They became literally my best friends. The dolphin just accepted me. And you watch them all the time. We've kind of gotten to know each other on a level that I feel blessed to have with a sea creature. They're called Naya here in Hawaii. As the powerful Anaya that they are, they're all beautiful, they're all worth protecting. That's why as an adult now, I don't really have names for them, but I know them visually and we connect more on a soul level. Playful creatures, they want to play and if they want to play, you're playing. To them, a floating bag in the ocean could be that leaf that they love to play with. And before you know it, they've flicked it up and somehow it's gotten caught on them or maybe they see a net and they think they can play with it and suddenly they're caught in the net. Put simply, they don't know the difference between plastic and leaves. When I used to be playing a leaf game and having fun, now I'm out there trying to clean up the ocean so that they don't play with the plastic. And when I can see it firsthand every day that the fish and the reefs and the dolphin are being affected by plastic that's coming from all over the world, it's sad. Imagine if you came home one day and your friend was not there anymore because of something that could have been prevented. It hurts me to see my aquatic friends being affected by something that we can change as humans. In order for us to have a healthy planet and a healthy ecosystem, we all have to respect each other. To me, they're kind of these symbols of comfort and peace in the ocean. If you fall in love with these creatures, then you want to protect them.